This disturbing story out of Montgomery County. Two students from a high school there are in trouble this morning for posting a photo of themselves wearing blackface, and we're not showing the offensive picture, but it is still making the rounds online. Michael Quander live from Wall Whitman High School this morning, and Michael, how are parents reacting to this? Yeah, I got to tell you, the principal sent a letter home to parents calling these students dressing up in blackface unacceptable and deeply disturbing. Others online wondering that why in 2019 do people still think that this is OK? Dozens of people gave their opinions about the Walt Whitman High School blackface scandal. Marcus Johnson saying so much for the idea that racism would die out with the older generations. Jane Gunter wrote parents aren't raising their children. The Internet is another person thought the situation should simply be ignored because, quote, we've got better things to get done. I'm saddened, but I'm not surprised because there is such an environment of Rachel, racial misunderstanding. So far, here's what we know. Two students posted a picture of themselves over the weekend in blackface, describing themselves using the N word. In a letter sent home to parents, Walt Women High School principal Robert Dodd said acts of racism are unacceptable and will not be tolerated. Now, before all this went down, Principal Dodd said students in their minority scholars program were already telling their classmates some of the struggles that minority students face at the school. Dodd is planning to meet with other school leaders to come up with a plan to directly address racism. I think it's very hard to have perspective living here sometimes. So look, we wanted to know what is going to happen with those students. Well, the principal said that they are going to receive some kind of consequence, but we weren't quite sure what that meant. However, he did address in his letter and confirm that Montgomery County Police were notified about this and that they are investigating this as a hate bias incident. Annie. Michael, thank you.